as much of a, uh, and even in the way we're, you know, we're talking to the network about um, being able to go in and help cut the commercials because the biggest thing that bums me out or like drives me nuts is when I watch a, like a like a trailer for like a movie and they show the whole fucking movie and I'm like, why well, don't want to see it now? You showed me all the cool parts. You showed me like the ending of the movie. I don't like. I really only want to see stuff from like the first act or like up until about halfway through. You don't really want to see stuff unless it's like really vague shots. But anyways, um, I guess I'm getting, what what specifically would you guys like to hear about? That's a good place to start. Well, what's an average day like for you and, and Michael, you know, working on this project? So because of time zones, um, like Australia, the way I always think about it is I'm in Los Angeles time, so, you know, West Coast time. So they're a day ahead and seven hours, I think it's seven or eight hours behind. So meaning like I usually start working around like three or four or sometimes even five o'clock at my time. And I go to bed. I've been going to bed. It's really not good. It's not uh, good for my brain or my body or my soul. But um, I've been going to bed at like 3 or 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. So I went to bed at like 5 a.m. last night. And I wake up around 1 o'clock. It's not good. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel good. But <laughs> I'm able to exercise and eat healthy and everything. So it's just like it's my sleep is a little bit pushed off. But um, we really only are going to be doing this for another like, two months or something. So um, – and then once we start, we usually review a bunch of um, animation. We re review all the backgrounds we get set. We review whatever's coming in the pipeline, whether that's like redrawing a hand or fixing lip sync or going into a meeting and talking about something. I will say, just so people know, and this sounds like a preemptive, like, man panicking, but, um, like, I'm really happy with what we're seeing so far. But at the same time, and it's actually more of an interesting just aspect of it. So the the way most stuff works is like the creators like create the show and maybe, maybe they write it, but it's really rare to have the creators like jumping into like approving every single shot. That's usually the job of like a director. But because our budget is so tiny, um, mm. like our budget, I think it was something crazy. Like um, it's about it's about equal to to like Aqua Teen Hunger Forces or something like that. We have a small budget. Uh, but with that small budget, we're also doing frame by frame animation. We're doing like a bunch of character, a bunch of new characters every episode. Which you know, if you're doing if you're doing your own YouTube cartoon, or if you're doing your own Newgrounds cartoon, you don't think about that. You just think, well, I just want to draw something here and I draw it. But when you have like a team of people, you just you need to like it. That all needs to be accounted for, and it needs to be you know understood. So so full frame by frame, the backgrounds are all going to be not painted, but they're going to be I think pretty detailed. Some of them. Uh, we really push what we're able to do in a good way. So my point is, we're really getting a, a bang for our buck. Uh, but because so because of that, we're really trying to be make sure everything looks good. We're going to every single. We're probably I don't know if this is true, but I feel like it's true that we're probably one of the few rare shows where where the creators are literally going through and like approving every prop, every fucking figure, and every character. So we're really, <laughs> we're really, really. I mean, literally every shot. Of the pilot and every shot of this of all these new episodes, um, we literally bet it. Michael and I bet into every single one and have like given you know notes on or approved or whatever. So you know, not in a control freak way, but just in a way where we really want to make sure it looks consistent. And by the way, our team is doing a really good job. So like we're like I say, we're really getting a bang for our buck. Um, and that's a long way of basically saying. So our day usually consists of like going through approving a bunch of stuff, whatever. We we're just kind of given a to do list of. You got to edit this, um, edit this thing, or do, look at this, or or you know redo these lines. Um, but it's definitely it's definitely the craziest um, thing that we've had to work on. At least I've had to work on uh, like ever. But um, I'm excited. I'm really I'm really excited to see what people think about it. And um, I I'm I'm, I'm 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 mostly excited about how we're stretching our dollar. I can't tell you. Uh, I don't think this is uh, telling tales out of school, but. Um, has it been announced how many episodes we're doing? I'm just curious. Mm. Not that I know of. Uh, I haven't heard. Okay, well, I, think so, no. I, don't, I don't think I don't think that matters. I think it should be fine. So we're doing. <coughs> excuse me, heavens. Um, so we're uh, all this coffee's loosening up my throat here. But um, so so we like the pilot so much that I always considered that episode one. I did not even consider it really a pilot. I mean, it is a pilot, but to me that was episode one. So that is episode one still. So that's not like that's not like when. Um, you know, some shows do do a pilot and then they'll like reanimate a new new first episode. That to me, I said that looks good enough. That looks like the show. 
So our thing is like that is episode one. That'll go into production like episode one. That'll air as episode one. And then we have seven new episodes. So it'll be eight episodes per season if we do more. And the reason we did that is because because we're so involved, the trade-off is like, well, we can't do like 20 episodes a season. It's just not reasonable. And But if we do if we do eight, that means we can pump out seasons a lot faster. So hopefully, um, if we get to make more, which totally depends on reception and, and if people like it, then um, we'll do eight. And that means it's not going to take, hopefully, you know, two years per season. And we're able to just kind of rush through. And it also means you, you don't have to have like filler episodes or... Yeah. you know gag episodes i guess so that's kind of the trade-off but yeah you can expect seven uh new episodes including the pilot how common is that level of involvement uh in in a show like yours like it is it something where people if they if they could get away with that they would love to have uh not that much control necessarily but involvement in all the pieces or do do most people just Except the fact that you know a studio will will do things for them or what? So I I think I don't I don't because so it's hard to say for like all stuff I don't know but I know for sure for adult animated stuff like Michael and I were literally going through and Michael would be sharing his screen and the you know the voice actor sent over an hour an hour worth of of takes and we're just sitting in there picking takes now like I'd be very surprised I I really don't think that. Um, like, like for the really big budget stuff, like Family Guy and The Simpsons, like definitely, definitely, definitely nobody, even in the early seasons, was like going through. Like Matt Grady was not going through picking Homer Simpsons like, like takes in, in, in Sony Vegas or whatever. So, but in terms of small budget stuff, like like Aqua Teen Hunger Force or those shows, or like I know I know the Venture Bros guys are really involved. I don't know, but I, I'd be very surprised. Now maybe on like a really smaller. Uh, or like kids show thing, like a Cartoon Network show, it's possible. I think that level of involvement, though, where we're going in and we're literally picking takes and like moving file, moving audio things around in Sony Vegas, I don't. Th- I really don't think that that's common. Um, I could be wrong about that, but we have literally we because our whole thing is like, well, we know about all these different things, and we think it's it's um it's uh it's just easier to go in ourselves and just not in the way where it's like, oh, nobody's doing exactly how we want, but just like, well, it will take it will take. 30 minutes or an hour to write a big thing about how to move stuff. It's like, we could just do that really quick. Um, so that's always our philosophy is just like, well, if we could go in and just move something around or just, you know, like stagger frames of a, of a shot, like just, just time things differently. It's just easier that way to do that. Um, but, but I, and my, I mean, maybe, maybe somebody knows more than, than I do, which I think is very possible, but yeah, I think it's uncommon. It's definitely uncommon, but that's us basically making up for the fact that we, we don't have a very big budget. 